friends, Miss Denise here with another art activity. This week we read Big Red Barn. Today I'll be showing you how you can make your own barn. The materials that you'll need are a box, scissors or a box cutter, tape, and red paper, paint, or coloring utensils. If you want to make some of the accessories that I'm going to make, you can use paper or plastic grass, cardboard tubes, and scrap paper. Here are our materials for today's activity. The box I'll be using is a cereal box. I have pre-cut my red paper, which is what I'm going to use to make my barn red. I have two different types of tape, and I have my box cutter and my scissors. If you're also using a cereal box or a snack box, you can go ahead and cut that in half, which I have done with my box cutter. Our next step is going to be to take our halves of our cereal box, and we're going to cut a panel out of each one. On our second box, we're going to leave a little bit of space so we're not cutting all the way to the edge. Now with our two boxes cut, we're going to take the one without the little lip and we're going to stick it on top. We're going to go ahead and tape that together right along there on the outside and the inside. Now that our box is all taped together, we are going to use our larger piece that was cut all the way without the lip. We're going to use this to make the front of our barn and the door. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to cut a little corner off of each side. Just so it'll look a little more like a roof. And then I'm going to cut the door, so I'm going to go straight down the middle. And I'm going to stop about here and do a little bit across. Now that my doors are cut, I'm going to bend them a little bit to make a crease so I'll be able to have my doors open. Now before I put my door on my barn. I'm going to decorate the doors. I think it'll be easier to do now than after it's already been on the barn. So for my doors, I have cut out my red rectangles already. And then also using my box cutter, I cut out white scrap paper. Just a little cover. Make it look more like a barn. I'm going to go ahead and tape those on.
here we have our barn doors and now I'm going to attach this to our box. Here we have our barn all attached, and now I'm going to use the rest of my red paper to decorate the outside. I'm going to use some white scrap paper to make an outline of the top of my barn. If you want, you can stop here. I have some leftover paper grass, so I'm going to use that and put some in my barn on the floor. or hay, whatever you want to pretend it is. I also took some cardboard tubes and cut them up into little pieces and I used extra cardboard to make the bottoms and you can use something like this for your animal's food. What do you think, Zelda? If you make your barn with a big enough box, maybe your pets will like it. I also have some little animals to go in my barn. So I've got some cows. And here's our finished barn for our cows. Yesterday I made another barn and this one is for some goats. And for this one I crumpled up blue paper for water. And I cut up strips of yellow paper for their food or some hay. And then I also used some scrap cardboard to make a little mud pit for some piggies and some water. And here we have our finished farm. And that's it for this week's art activity. Thank you so much for joining me. And remember you can share photos of your artwork in the comment section underneath this video. I'll see you next week and look out for our new book on Monday.